Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and in this video I will be telling about all the date and time functions available in SAP HANA Studio and these functions also you can use in SQL so let me tell you now if I if I want to add this suppose you want to add some date to some calendar date suppose you have a now field like uh, suppose you have just let me show you yes this is my format of the date yes suppose I want to add 30 days so 30 days I want to add 30 with this so how can you write that so we have to write the function that is add days then to date then 30 so if I just run this so what will happen so look so now it has changed to 4th Jan 2010 so 30 is added so this is the function to add days so in SAP HANA or in SQL and suppose now I will move to the next function that is the add month suppose you want to add one month along with this this month so currently it is 12 so you want to add one so how can you use that so just write the uh, function that is add uh, add months and then the same as it is so if i execute this so it will so look at the only the month has added not the date so date is still same fifth and since it is implemented by one month so the look at the year has changed to 2020 2010 so so this is how uh, you can add the month now uh, you have another function that is the add month last so what does that mean so if we just execute this now what you show so it is adding uh, the it, it is adding the last month so so I mean it is just so it, it will add by one month and also it will increase by one month and it will show the last date as well. So it will show it will increment so add month last. It means it will increment by one and it will show the last date of that month. So if I just check it by two let's see what happens yes so it is added by two months and it is showing the last date of that month that is the 30th april so i hope you have understood this part now we will be moving into another function how can we add seconds so now we'll move to the uh, some something about the time so suppose you have a you know uh, you have some you want to you have a timestamp so how can you add it you now for seconds so for that you have to write like select add seconds then suppose you have two timestamp then suppose you are putting any value here suppose 20 20 then 0 1 0 1 and uh, like date is 30 45 so this is my timestamp format so then you want to increment by this many seconds. Suppose you want to make as add seconds. So and this is called from dummy. So now if I execute this, let's see what's gonna happen. 
So look, uh, I have added 1800. If I multiply this, this many seconds, and this seconds will be added with this. So it means 30 minutes. I have added 30 minutes along with this date. So look, that date has changed as well. If we add the second, similar to that, the date here has changed. So it has changed to the next date. So it was earlier 1st Jan. Now it is changed to 2nd Jan. So I believe you have understood this part. So now we will move to another function that is add work days. So how can we add work days like you know any day any calendar day so let me show you that suppose uh, I, I mean the thing like Sunday Monday so those days how can we add so for that we need to write like let me just uh, copy this one. anything I can copy Then we have to give work day or days. Then this. yes. And suppose I want to add like this zero one. Then suppose twenty twenty one one. Then one wait. This is one um, FC test. And this is my result. So let's check it. What does it happen? Okay, something wrong here. So let me just check it. So we are adding the add work days. So make it in capital work days. Select work days. Then zero one. Then we are adding the date here. You can put any date you like. And then this. So let me verify again whether it works or not. No, it's saying that there's something wrong in the add work days. Okay, add work days. Okay, anyway, so this function uh, should have worked. So what it will do, it will just, you know, increment by one day. So that's how it works. So uh, we can now move to the next function. So we can see that later on. So, so the next we will be discussing about the current date. Suppose you want to see the current date. So what is the suppose you want to see the current date in the system. So how can you see that? So it's very simple way you can see that. If you just simply type the left current date from dummy from dummy, it will show you the current date. So that's today's date is 9th February 2020. So in this way, you can see the current date of the system, and similar to that, you can see current time let me just verify whether we can see not yes we can see current time as well so these are easy ways so you can see current date and time in Hana studio and now we will be showing you how can you uh, how can we see day name suppose you want to see the day name like Sunday, Monday, what is the day? 
so how can you see that so it's very simple way you can check it so you have a function called select day name then you suppose I want to put like anything like Now, suppose you want to put as J name, then from done. So, what it does, it will show you the that day name. Okay, it's something called incorrect syntax. Let me just make capital day name. Now let me just what is the problem? So let me just say it doesn't work or it doesn't work. Okay, let me just make it double. Yes, so now it works. So, so uh, if you just put the day name syntax, so it will show you the day name. So for whatever date you like, you want to see. So by that way, you can see the day name. So that's very useful because if you are using in a project or if you are working in a company, that's very easier way to do that. And also you have option of day of month. So how can you see that day of month? So let me just type here. So for the same thing, so I just write day of month. So let me execute this. Yes, so that's a how many uh, actually, uh, how many days that month has, that's 30. So that's why you can see the day of month. So now we will be showing you about uh, in the time section, that is the, how can you see the day of year, similar to that you can see the day of year. So we just put it like day of year. I believe it will show the thing that you want for is hundred fifty one. What? Okay, just let me verify again. So day of year. So here we can see day of year. So it will returns one. 155 so this is the day of year okay so i think we should move forward and see the other functions so let me just go for the next date function in sap hana so now we will move forward to the next one that is the how can you see the days between so that's very important suppose you have two date functions and how can you see the days between suppose so for that very easy way you can find out the days between so let me just go that so days between person then just let me remove this we have to write two date then we can write this thing as like suppose i want to measure between any date between suppose 2020 year 1 and and so when it's format you have to also mention the format CD 
then you have to now write the other date so you should also like this then 2020 you want 20 then this and now what what you have to do you have to specify the this format then yes so once you have done that so you have to complete the bracket so it is so it is the days between this countdown so now if i execute this so let's see what happens yes it is showing the date in between so it is very easy way that you can see that so if you just write the syntax days between then you can, you can just see the how many days between these two days so i hope you have understood about the video so you, i will come up with more videos regarding sql functions and uh, sql scripts so stay tuned with my videos thank you